Hey Divination, thanks for joining us in this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to creatively use screen mockups within your Divi website. So the first thing you will need for this tutorial is the free mockup which you can find in the link in the description below so make sure you go ahead and download that and afterwards I'm going to show you how to modify it in Photoshop and use it on your Divi website. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a look at our result. This is the desktop version. Then we have the tablet version. And last but not least, this is what it looks like on mobile. So once you open the mockup file, Go to the last layer, which is the background color layer and hide it. Then scroll up and double click on the following icon, which will make your screen image appear. And then locate the print screen that you want to appear instead. And drag it to the tabs of Photoshop. So if you have the right sizes, you can just go ahead and copy that image, go back to your layer and paste it. And you'll create another layer to that part and just select both of them and merge the layers. Once you've done that, Control S or Command S, which will help you save it and you'll have a complete mockup. So you can now save it, go to File, Export, Save for Web, and don't forget to change it to PNG so the background will remain transparent. So once you've created the mockup, you can go to your WordPress website and add a new page. Then give your page a title, enable the Divi Builder and switch over to Visual Builder. For this tutorial, we'll only be needing one section. So we're going to add a row right away and we're going to choose two columns for it. And then I'm going to open the row settings, go to the background subcategory choose a background color all of the colors are listed in the post below and then i'll add my mock-up as a background to the row and scroll down use fit as my image size center as my image position and no repeat as my image repeat and I'll just leave the image blend like it is. Then I'll add a background color to the second column and switch over to the design tab, open the sizing subcategory, make this row full width and use a custom gutter width of one. Then I'll open the spacing subcategory and add zero pixels to the top and bottom padding of my row. And lastly, I'm going to disable this row on phone and tablet. All right, so now I can start adding my modules. I'll begin with a text module. I'll enter some text into the content box and go to the design tab. Then I'll choose a font, which is in this case, Cormorant Unicase. Change my font weight into bold. Use a text size of 70 pixels. Change my text color to white and my text line height to one and use the left text orientation. Then I'll open the spacing subcategory 
and that 150 pixels to the top, 50 pixels to the bottom, and 50 pixels to the left. Then I can add my next text module, enter some text into the content box, go to the design tab and use actor as my text font, 13 pixels for my text size. and add my text color. And I'm going to keep the text line height and the text orientation as it is. Go to the sizing subcategory and add a width of 67%. Then I'll open my spacing subcategory and add 30 pixels to the bottom and 50 pixels to the left side. Then I'll add another module, which is the bottom module. Enter some button text. Then I'll go to the design tab, select a left button alignment, open the bottom subcategory give my text size 14 pixels and match my text color to the row background color give it a white background color put my border width to 0 and my border radius to 100 pixels. And then I'll change the bottom font to actor and use a bold font weight. And I'll make my font uppercase. And then I'll go to the spacing subcategory Add 150 pixels to the bottom margin, 50 pixels to the left margin, 10 pixels to the top padding and the bottom padding as well, and 30 pixels to the right and left padding. And lastly, I'm going to add a box shadow to this button as well. So I'm just going to give it 41 pixels for the blur strength and 4 pixels for the spread strength and add my shadow color. And I'll make sure it's an outer shadow as well. So now I have my desktop pro so I'm just going to clone it as many times as I need. And once you clone it you can just change Things you need to change such as the mock-up and the row background color so I'm going to change the row background color and the second column background color as well and I'll do the same thing for the third row as well All right, so now I can clone my desktop version and I'm going to create the tablet and phone version. So this is the cloned version. And I'm going to open the settings and delete my row background image. Go to the advanced tab and disable this row on desktop. 
then I'll add an image to the first column and upload my mock-up. Then I'll need to make some changes to the first text module. Go to the design tab, open the text subcategory and change my text orientation to center. Then I'll open the spacing subcategory and make sure that my left padding is gone. Then I'll open my next text module, go to the design tab, change my text orientation to center, open the sizing subcategory and choose a center module alignment. And again, make sure that my left padding is gone. And last but not least, I'll also need to make some changes to the button module, change my button alignment to center, open the spacing subcategory and make sure that my left margin is gone. So now I have my tablet and phone version, which again, I will need to clone multiple times to match my desktop version. So I'll open the row settings and again change the background colors. And I can also change the mockup within the image module. And I'll do the same thing for the last row as well. So I'm changing both the row background color and the second column background. And now I can just publish my page and exit the visual builder. Now let's take a final look at the result. This is the desktop version. Then we have the tablet version and this is what it looks like on mobile. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our social media channel so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.